Hey everybody, uh, I uh, pulled up YouTube and I noticed that uh, we were coming up on about 23,000 subscribers and that the uh, DIY video has gotten to about 600 and some thousand views, which I think is amazing. I mean, that means that, you know, even still new people are discovering this uh, every day and, you know, participating in uh, getting involved in holsters and learning the craft and you know a lot of folks are you know even endeavoring to make a little bit of money for themselves on the side or you know figure out how to you know start a business or what have you which I think is uh, pretty cool and uh, empowering for a lot of folks um, and uh, that means that you know we still get uh, questions and uh, I find that you know most questions break down into uh, one of two categories one of these uh, categories, the first category, is a question which, you know, reveals that the person asking it just isn't aware of, like, the incredible uh, resources that are available to them, you know, through uh, forums, through, you know, uh, the two almost 200 videos of, of this channel, um, the suppliers that I I exist, you know, they're, they're incredibly lucky to be getting into this at this stage where you can, you know, Back in the day, figuring this stuff out was, <laughs> you know, like 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 a, a couple email addresses on a scrap of paper of people you know you were trying to figure this out with, and the Miss McMaster car catalog. And now you can just you know go to some place, uh, you know, like DIY holster or index fastener, and you know order up molds that are already made. Like Tony, we started together, you know, doing this out of our house and now he's, you know, supplying everybody with molds for everything from, you know, hand forming to vacuum forming. It's incredible. You know, these resources, you know, just didn't didn't exist when 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 we were starting off. So, you know, the first set of questions is people who are like, you know, just un un unaware that that all of this is available to them. Uh, so th those those, you know, the answers to those questions are, you know, pointing, pointing people in the right direction. Like, hey, guess what? You know, you're going to have to, you know, earn some of this information still, you know, get on a forum, you know, don't uh, discredit the work that everybody's done ahead of you by, you know, just asking without researching, you know, go do the research, earn these answers a little bit, and, you know, get involved in the community. And then the, the, the second group of questions break, you know, winds up being something which is more like, uh, the the experience of, of discovering the answer yourself is more valuable than than the prescription I'm going to write for you. It's more valuable than uh, you know maybe even you know struggling to figure out the answer or building yourself a prototype or two to say well why doesn't this work why does this work you know what's the physics of this you know what's the process like that's more valuable than me you know typing you out an answer and there are sometimes where I'll say yeah I do know the answer to that but I'm not necessarily going to spoon feed it to you because that's doing you more harm than good. And also, you know, again, it kind of, you know, discounts some of the work that the other people who have paved the way for you have done. You know, they did the work to figure this out. And yeah, there's an answer for it, but it's kind of more, more valuable. You have more ownership of it. Uh, you, you're a, a, a more active player in this field if you learn it yourself. Um, so, you know, if you take the resources that are available uh, in, and combine those with a willingness to experiment, you're going to get really far. But, you know, even with that said, there are a lot of folks who, you know, are, are struggling to, to a, a, a degree or maybe don't have quite enough direction or need uh, a, a, a more of a, a help up you know, because, you know, this is, this is a ladder. It's not an, an, an elevator. You don't just get in and push the button to the floor you want to go and boom, you're there. Despite the fact that you can, you know, go online and buy, you know, replicas that are already mostly mocked up for you. You know, you can just start stamping out holsters. You still have to, you know, pull yourself up, you know, the ladder of figuring, figuring this out under your own power. But, you know, sometimes people need a hand. And, you know, there are a lot of things out there where, uh, you know, other fields other forms of arts and crafts where, you know, you get involved in some kind of industry and there's like some direct hands-on uh, mentorship. And to some degree, you know, uh, there are a lot of holster shops out there, but not a lot of them are in a position to employ 
people or a lot of people on a constant basis such that they can, you know, get mentor, get, uh, you know, mentors or apprentices cycling through in such a way that the craft really gets passed on. Um, and, you know, Filster isn't necessarily in a position to always be hiring somebody new either. I mean, I've got, you know, one person here full time and one person here part time in, in addition to myself. And, you know, that's, you know, we're, we're doing the best we can with that. But I've been kicking around this idea um, with a couple other people who, who, who make holsters to, you know, run, run it by them, see what they have to think about the idea. And, you know, the, the people at, our, at, at my shop here and, you know, the other people in my life. And I've been thinking, just kind of floating the idea out there, and, you know, obviously the existence of this program is going to depend on the, the, the feedback of, of, of the viewers and the people who watch us and want to get involved. But the, the, uh, the idea that I'm thinking of is a one-week, you know, five-work day uh, a, apprenticeship boot camp where you come to Philly and you can stay with me at my place. We're not going to make you buy a hotel or anything. Uh, but... It's, it, but the program's you know, still not going to be free, though, because there's going to be expenses. But you get to come to Philly, stay with me. You get three hots and a cot, and you come to the shop with me every day. You work a whole day here. I'm not going to put you on the production line, but you're going to get assignments every day. You're going to say, today we're going to make this kind of item. There's going to be a curriculum that gets you through the whole week, and you can use as much materials as you want. You can experiment with whatever you want. You'll get assignments. Part of it will be, you know, self-directed what do you want to learn uh, part of it will be assigned you know here's what here's what you know i think you should leave here with it anyway sorry for the edit just to make it uh brief again uh you know we're going to set it up so you can uh if you're interested and you and you want all that extra knowledge and you need some hands-on help and you really want to like jump start uh your craft or get ahead in some areas that you know you feel like you need help with and you know if, if you're serious about making a real go of this, uh, we're trying to set something up. So you can come here. We make it easy for you. We feed and we house you and we take you to work and we give you everything you need. Um, like I said, it's not going to be spoon fed. You're going to have to, you know, ask your questions, put in the hard work, know kind of where you want to go with this and uh, uh, be serious about it. And uh, if you're interested, you can go ahead and... Uh, uh, shoot me an email. That's phillyedc at gmail.com. And we'll talk about what that's going to take uh, to, to make happen for you. So uh, I hope I hope you're uh, into the idea. I think it's going to benefit a lot of people. Hopefully it'll help, you know, uh, improve the quality of uh, all, all the holsters out there uh, uh, in the industry and really boost, uh, boost people's uh, craftsmanship and whatnot. So we'll see if we can uh, make that happen. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck with your projects.